Good Morning Miramar, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m., right here, right now. Good morning, Miramar. My name is Danielle Rialis, Marketing Coordinator with the City of Miramar's Office of Marketing and Public Relations. Today is Tuesday, February 27th. We're almost done with the second month of the year. Crazy, but we have a really great show lined up for you today. Um, first, this morning, we will be joined by Melanie McLean with our Human Resources Department here at the City of Miramar. She's the director, as well as Javon Lloyd, Communications Manager for Career Source Broward. They're going to be here today to tell us all about the City of Miramar's Career Fair happening this Thursday. Afterwards, we will be joined by the owners of Brady Physical Therapy Sports Rehab. We have Vinaya Brady as well as Yanel Brady here today to tell you all about their business here in Miramar. Please remember that you can tune in live to this broadcast on Facebook and Periscope. All you have to do is search the at City of Miramar handle. You can also download the TuneIn Radio app and search It's Right Here in Miramar to listen live on the radio. Remember, you can dial into any portion of this program by calling us at one 877 miramar That's one 877 264 The weather for today, Tuesday, February 27th, is going to bring some partly cloudy skies. Our high temperature today is 82 degrees and the low will be 70. Now, do you live north of Miramar Parkway, south of Pembroke Road, and in between University Drive and the Florida Turnpike? If so, Commissioner Darlene Riggs is inviting you to come out to a community meeting that's going to be held at Miramar United Methodist Church, located at 2507 Utopia Drive in Miramar, tonight, Tuesday, February 27th at 7 p.m. You'll receive the latest updates from our Miramar Police Department, our code officers, and our Parks and Recreation team regarding issues concerning sidewalks, trees, and lights as well. Refreshments will be served and you'll actually get a chance to win a gift card to Home Depot to renovate your home. This event is being sponsored by Miramar Tropical Homes, so we hope to see you there. The Miramar Cultural Center is presenting <coughs> Fly Dance Company. The gentlemen of hip hop are inviting you to come in through the take in the ins and turns of hip hop and classical music as well as modern dance. This performance is taking place on Saturday, March the 3rd. That's this weekend at 2 p.m. at our Miramar Cultural Center Arts Park. For more information and to get your tickets today, please visit miramarculturalcenter.org. Now, do you need alternative financing options to prepare your roof, windows, or air conditioning unit? Or are you a contractor looking to learn how to become an authorized PACE contractor? <coughs> if so, Mayor, Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam is inviting you as he hosts a free workshop to learn about PACE financing and how contractors can learn how to pre-qualify as PACE contractors. PACE stands for Property Assessed Clean Energy and allows property owners to receive upfront financing for qualifying improvements. To learn more about these benefits for property owners and contractors alike, you can join us this Thursday, March the 8th at 6 p.m. at the Miramar Multi-Service Complex located at 6700 Miramar Parkway. To RSVP for this event, please visit miramarpaceworkshop.eventbrite.com. That's miramarpaceworkshop eventbrite.com. You can also call us at 954-602-3270 with any questions. We wanted to remind everyone that registration is still open for our co-ed flag football league for children ages 4 to 14. The games will begin this next coming weekend, March 10th, um, 2018, and will take place every Saturday until May the 5th. This league is um, at Vizcaya Park, which is located at 14200 Southwest street in Miramar. Registration for Miramar residents is only $60, so and we're inviting all of you to join us with that. And if you'd like more information on this co-ed fly football league, you can call 954-883-6800 for more information. And Parks and Recreation would also like to remind everyone that our City of Miramar Spring Camp registration is still open. Spring camps are taking place from, for spring break um, March 26th through the 30th from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. here in Miramar. The program is including sports, field trips, and a bunch of different arts and crafts activities for your children. You can register for these um, spring break camps at any one of our you, um, Parks and Recreation centers, our Vernon E. Hargrave Youth Enrichment Center, the Skya Park, Anson Sports Complex, the Sunset Lakes Community Center, all during their normal business hours. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 to 9, and Saturdays from 9 to 8, and on Sundays from 9 to 5. Space is limited, so please be sure to register your children early. For more information, you can visit miramarfl.gov. 
And finally, we also wanted to let everyone know that our mayor, Wayne Messam, along with Memorial Hospital Miramar and Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, is having a free 3K run walk and a health fair, as well as a family fun day on Saturday, March 17th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This event is going to feature health screenings, um, wellness activities, a kids zone, and so much more. For information on registration, you can call 954-602-3198. On Tuesday, March 27th, and on Wednesday, March 28th, the City of Miramar Public Works, Utilities, and Parks and Recreation Departments are inviting all of our Miramar residents to a special informational meeting to address questions, concerns, or comments that residents might have regarding city operations. These operations include traffic control, water treatment, street and sidewalk maintenance, recycling, and parks and recreation activities. This forum will also provide city staff an opportunity to share details with our residents um, with updates concerning our city programs and planned and current capital improvement projects. The first meeting is taking place at the Sunset Lakes Community Center Ballroom located at 2801 Southwest 186th Avenue on Tuesday, March 27th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And the second meeting, which will be sharing the same information, will be taking place Wednesday, March 28th at the Miramar Multi-Service Complex Ballroom located at 6700 Miramar Parkway from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And we hope to see you there. Um, thank you all for tuning into that portion of Good Morning Miramar. Now, without further ado, I'd like to reintroduce our first guest. We have the director of the City of Miramar's Human Resources Department, Mrs. Melanie McLean. Good, Good morning, morning, Daniel. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here this morning. We also have Javon Lloyd, who is a Senior Communications Manager with Career Source Broward. You might recognize him um, for being on the show previous to talk about different employment opportunities here in Broward County. And I'm so excited to have you both on here today to tell everyone about the City of Miramar's Career Fair. We're excited to be here, Danielle, and thank you so much for having us. Um, as the HR Director, I'm really excited that we're hosting our annual Career Fair. It will be on this Thursday from 10 to 2 at the Career, at the um, Arts Park. Yes, our Miramar Cultural Center. At the so Miramar that's Cultural right Center. Here in Miramar, in our City Hall campus. That is correct. And um, we have a lot of employers that will be here throughout the different industries. We have healthcare industry represented by Memorial Healthcare Systems, as well as One Home Care Solutions, different retailers. So there's a plethora of different companies that are going to be here on site to, um, some of them will be hiring on site. So we encourage your residents to come on out, bring your resume, come properly dress, which Javon can address um, as he's with Career Source Broward, um, to find a job and hopefully find gainful employment. Yes. Now, you know, it's so um, nice to see the city of Miramar really offering the service to our community because I know that, you know, there are a lot of people out there who are looking for employment, even our people here in our community. And we love the fact that we're able to provide this. So kind of tell us, Melanie, a little bit about how this all got started. I know that you have been here for a few years working yes. with the city of Miramar. So tell us a little bit about the mission behind our career fair. Okay. Well, I've been working with the city for four and a half years. Um, and um, Prior to that, I have 17 years of HR experience. Um, the, the goal is really to reach out to the community to provide career opportunities for people who are currently in college, who um, you know, are seeking employment, as well as someone who may um, currently be unemployed or underemployed. Yes. We, have a lot of, we have a lot of people in our community who may have jobs that are not adequate to, to support a family and we have quite a lot of large employers who will be here that are offering good jobs, whether they're professional, technical, some are in sales, but I think there is a wonderful opportunity for people to have career advancement by attending this job fair. Absolutely. Now you mentioned some of the employers that were going to be here. I think we have over 40 employers yes, we scheduled do. to be here. So as Melanie mentioned, it's a great opportunity to be, expose yourself to a wide variety of employers. So tell us a few of the employers that will be there um, this Thursday. Okay, we have employers that cover different industries. In the travel industry, we have um, Spirit Airlines will be represented 
as well as Carnival. Mm -hmm. um, retail, we have um, TJ Maxx, Tommy Hilfiger, Walgreens, uh, as well as um, Macy's and Marshall's will also be represented as well. Um, in the manufacturing sector, what we've tried to do, we've tried to target some of the local manufacturers. So Jail Audio, which manufactures marine and um, home audio equipment, they will be there, as well as um, Simtech Silicone Parts, where they do molds for different silicone products. Okay. So we, we're trying to cover all the different sectors so that people with different skill sets within the community can, can come and hopefully be able to find a good fit with one of the employers that will be here. Yes, and before starting the show, we also talked about um, an exciting opportunity with Broward Schools. Oh yes. yes, Broward Schools, they will be bringing their new bus and they will be here to do on-site interviews and hire on the spot if, Wonderful. if necessary. In fact, we have a good story where um, last year, there was a young man, he came to the career fair the year, the prior year, and he actually was hired by one of the companies, and um, he came back to the career fair just to let us know what his story was, and it was really, really inspiring to, to actually see that happen. Absolutely, so we have a lot of great testimonials of people who come to our career fairs and actually gain employment. So Javon, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Career Source Broward's mm -hmm. involvement with the career fair. How are you supporting this? Um, and tell us a little bit about that. Well again, Daniel, thank you for um, allowing us to come back on the show. We always um, enjoy being on here. Uh, we've partnered with the city of Miramar for a number of years with their job fairs, and it's always a great um, joint effort for us to get out in the community and to help those that are in need. Um, some of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be providing some tips on some good resume practices as well as interviewing skills. We'll also have our team on site to help people register in the Employ Florida Network, which is the online, the state's online job database system where they will be able to see all the jobs that are posted um, throughout the state of Florida, including Broward County. Uh, we'll also have our team here to let people know about all of the resources, whether you're trying to get training to go back to school for a particular occupation, or you just need some guidance as far as what career you're looking to get into. So we'll have staff members here um, assisting city staff, of course, and, and being kind of in that support role. Absolutely. Now, um, do you have any tips for success for people looking to attend the job fair? Do you want to share those? Yeah, sure, definitely. Um, I think the number one thing you always want to be aware of is how, how you're presenting yourself, the way you look, the way you dress. That's very important. Also, too, just being confident. You know, I mean, a lot of employers, they're trying to get to know you as a person, as an individual, to see if you'll be a good fit for the team. So being confident, being presentable, and just, you know, showcasing your true self and um, being professional as always will definitely help you when you're trying to look for employment. Yes, um, and if you have a resume, we recommend you bring copies of your resume as well. Yes, definitely. Um, it's always good to bring more than five, more than ten. You just never know who you may run into. Um, another thing that we'll be doing as well w at the actual job fair, we'll, we'll be doing a presentation on just some best practices, what some information you should include on your resume, maybe some things that you never thought of or you may want to incorporate. Um, you know, next time you go out there and you're looking for employment, but it's definitely crucial to make sure that you have copies of your resume because employers want to see what type of experience and what type of skill sets you can bring to the table. Absolutely, and get there early too. So the career fair actually starts at 10 a.m. Yes. this Thursday, and that's at our Miramar Cultural Center. So for those of you familiar, um, our city hall um, town center has, you know, the main city hall offices, our development services offices, as well as a cultural center with a huge banquet hall. Mm -hmm. And inside of our banquet hall, we will be, you know, having this career fair. It's indoors, which is nice, yeah. AC, mm -hmm. um, and over 40 employers there to help you gain your next opportunity, yeah. which is really exciting. Um, so, you know, we talked about kind of some of the employers that were going to mm -hmm. be there. We talked about the time. It ends at 2 o'clock, correct? It ends at 2 o'clock. Okay, so a really, you know, good amount of time for people to meet and greet and network and hopefully, you know, get hired because exactly. that's what the goal is. Um, and Melanie, is there anything else that you wanted to share before we close? Well, I do want to thank our sponsors. Our sponsors are um, Career Source Broward, 
Mission United and WSVN Channel 7. They have been great over the past several years sponsoring our event, and we couldn't do it without their assistance. Absolutely. And we also wanted to mention with Mission United, they're actually working with our veteran support as well. Correct. So we you know, have something for everyone, whether you're a veteran, you know, someone who's unemployed or underemployed. You know, we're really trying to help out the entire scope of the community, mm -hmm. not just you know, one target audience. Correct, and, really and, and that, that is exactly what the career fair is about. It's about outreach to the community. Yes, well thank you both so much for being here this morning. Um, we're so excited for this career fair and we hope that all of you are able to join us. And if you just need any more information, you can visit our website, miramarfl.gov, and you can learn more about the career fair, but we're excited and we can't wait for it. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us, Danielle. Absolutely. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, but when we return, we will be doing a quick spotlight on one of our Miramar businesses, Brady Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab. So be sure to stay tuned. Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam, and I am personally inviting you to the Mayor's 3K Walk Run Health and Yoga Fair sponsored by Memorial Healthcare System, Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, Calvary Fellowship in Miramar, Aetna, Miami Dolphins, and Waste Pro. Come on out for a low-impact 3K Walk or Run Saturday, March 17th at 8 a.m., followed by the health fair and yoga sessions. We'll have a kid zone, free health screenings, and yoga classes. I would like to see you there getting fit.
welcome back to our show. We're so excited to be sharing with you all a Miramar Business Spotlight. So if you've been tuning in to our show, you know that we love to highlight local businesses here in Miramar who are doing amazing things for our community. And we were so excited when Brady Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab reached out to us about coming on the show because we think it's just excellent when we have um, small businesses here in Miramar doing great things. So thank you both for being on the show today. We have Vinaya and Yanel Brady who own um, Brady Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab. So just want both of you to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about yourselves and what you do. Okay, so I'm Vinaya Brady. Um, I've been in healthcare for 15 years uh, and my husband and I decided to open a physical therapy practice um, because we were familiar with healthcare for long enough, it was time to attack it on our own. Um, so, you know, we decided that a physical therapy business uh, located in a residential area would have been beneficial for the residents, but it would also allow us to spread awareness around health and wellness um, and more proactivity um, as far as that goes and not waiting only on um, an injury or an illness to. Absolutely come up, um, we pretty much try to promote uh, being active um, and also being aware of what's going on in your body. Of course. Thank you for having us. Uh, my name is Yonel Brady. I'm a physical therapist. I've been a physical therapist for 15 years. Over the past 15 years, I've had um, experience in different setting in the field of physical therapy. I started out in the acute care setting, which is a hospital. Um, doing inpatient and outpatient uh, throughout the years, um, kind of um, ex had experience in home health uh, and um, rehabilitation as well. Absolutely. But um, my main uh, passion is um, working as an outpatient physical therapist, uh, doing. Uh, spot rehabilitation, uh, using manual technique uh, to get people back on their feet. Um, vast experience dealing with different type of um, patient population, um, mostly the older population, but also um, having experience in um, teenagers and pediatrics as well. Wonderful. So that's really helpful information. Thank sure. you both for sharing that. So um, tell us about the Brady Physical Therapy experience, because I know that um, you know people have options on sure. kind of where they can get their physical therapy care from, but um, there's something special to be said about a family-owned business and the care that you get there. So tell us a little bit about that. So it is a family-oriented business, and I think the element that we um, present with or we allow our patients to receive uh, is the fact that we are family-oriented and there is a little extra level of care in there. And when I say that, I mean that we are more understanding to what's going on in people's lives and people work. So what we do is we created an environment where our schedule is very flexible. We're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. We do not um, have a preference as to whether or not you, who you can bring with you to the treatment because we understand that kids are out of school, things happen, and we just try and keep that environment very family friendly. Friendly. Um, I interact a lot with our patients, um, although you know it's the therapist. Um, we create an environment where they are free to call us at any time. Um, it just is a different dynamic, and and I think that the family element um, is what creates that. For, the, for, for, the, for our patients. Um, we do serve um, the community at large. Um, we sponsor a couple of baseball teams, um, softball teams, of course, um, and then we deal with football teams and some other community activities out, outside of, you know, um, Miramar. Um, but what we like to do is ensure that we um, treat all of our patients with respect and dignity um, and that we restore their quality of life with care. Of course. And from a physical therapy, I'll add to that. Um, basically each patient is treated based on what's going on with them. Um, assess the patient, work on exactly what is wrong as opposed to um, you know sending them to a machine and have them work a machine or put a hot pack on them and call it a day. Basically spend the time, find out what's going on, what's causing their problems and approach, approach it that way to get the person better. 
Right. Wonderful. Yeah. And that's so important because, you know, there's people, especially once you sustain an injury, you know, people oftentimes focus on, okay, hospital, let me get better. But there's so much that goes into the getting better right. process. And, you know, for many people, unfortunately, it can be a long process. So having somewhere to go that's family oriented, that's understanding that you can really build a relationship with um, is so important. So you talked a little bit about, you know, the experience, which I love. Can you also tell us about um, the different kinds of patients that you see. I know you touched a little bit about that, but if you could just share again, you know, the different patients that kind of come into your center. So we deal with autism. We deal with patients who may have cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. We deal with sports injuries. Um, we, deal, we deal with the geriatric population, and that's a vast um, number of diagnoses that may accompany those visits. Um, but primarily, we are trying to cater to everyone. Um, if there's something that we cannot do, we would absolutely let the, the patient know that in advance. Um, what we're trying not to do is take everyone and know that we can't perform some of the absolutely. tasks. So what we do is we focus on um, typical diagnosis, arthritis, um, uh, CVAs, which are strokes, um, and there are some heart diseases um, that physical therapy is required for. Our goal is to see a patient, assess a patient, and we don't prolong the visits. It's six to eight weeks, typically. If there's something where you have a chronic condition, of course, that's more long-term. But for the most part, we try and minimize the amount of time and cost that would be um, allotted to the patient by of, course, by, of course, just assessing what's going on, being true and accurate about the time that it's going to take, and then, of course, giving them exercises to do once we're done with them. Because physical therapy is not just when you see the therapist. Mm -hmm. It's also when you go home and you perform those exercises. Definitely. And so that's why he spoke to doing manual exercises, because a lot of this is manual and it's not just a machine, because mm -hmm. you don't have machines at home. Absolutely, and that's so important. So thank you both for sharing that information. Um, and just a couple more things. So why did you choose Miramar? Um, as your location to on your business? We originally were in Davie. Okay. Um, but the Davie market wasn't working for us. And um, we saw the Miramar market and we saw what Miramar was doing. And we liked what was going on there. So we tried to look for a location there. We were able to find one. Um, and it's in a residential area. Um, it's accessible by pretty much everyone because you're coming off of the turnpike to get there. Um, and we have been very successful um, working in the Miramar area and we love the area. It's wonderful. really good. That's wonderful. And they are very centrally located in Miramar. So they're located on University right by the turnpike at 7971 Riviera Boulevard in Miramar. So if you're coming from any side of Miramar, whether it's historic Miramar, West Miramar, Central Miramar, um, you can access them very easily, which we also love. So we're so happy that you are here and serving our community. And any other takeaways, contact information if people would like to call to make an appointment for services? Sure. Um, our website is www.bradyphysicaltherapy.com and you can also call us directly at 954-530-6845. Thank you so much for having us. Thank this was you. great, um, and we appreciate you thinking or considering us. Absolutely, and thank you both for, for coming on the show. We love to see family-owned businesses and husband and wife do all the great things in the community, and that's Brady with an E. Yes. With right. an e. So um, BradyPhysicalTherapy.com, correct? Yes, ma'am. So we hope that you all, if you're in need for physical therapy services or if you'd like more information, you definitely check out their website and reach out to them. They are wonderful and can definitely serve your needs. Thank you all again for tuning in to Good Morning Miramar today. Remember, we are live um, every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. right here in Miramar. Wishing you all a great day. Bye-bye.